Three beers. I took a big risk carrying you without any references. Did you know? I just hope you appreciate it. Well, as I recall, I made the offer. I set the terms, and you should count yourself fortunate. The waitress is fine as myself. Yeah, but it's still a risk. I mean, I should get some kind of uh, accommodation. Are you hitting on me now? I'm just trying to loosen you up there, McKenna. <laughs> I should the dream of every Irish lass who ever stepped on a boat to America. All rugged and handsome, and a bit of a cowboy. I'd say you're a real lunk. I think you may not. If I slept with you, I'd have to quit. For I'm not one to fraternize with my employer, and if I quit, where would that leave us? Myself out of work, all alone in a strange country, and you, that's your finest waitress. It'd be a real shame now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yo, Coleman. What'll it be, pretty lady? Oh, you know what? I'll take a white wine. I'm dying for a double shot of whiskey. I just heard you off with a good Irish stout. What are you doing here? Well, a girl has to work, you know. So does that mean that you're sane? Well, I am for the time being, but because it's safer more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, well, I, I, I heard things got pretty rough when you were kidnapped. Uh, the less said about the whole experience, the better. And I was just a means to an end. A bargaining chip. Right. Well, I'm, I, I'm glad that you're okay. Well, it didn't work out for the Balkan this time, but make no mistake. She's still coming after Brenda Barrett. Which means Dante's still in the line of fire. <laughs> Baby, how are you? You look exhausted. They're working you too hard, I think. Yeah, it must be tough guarding the face to launch a thousand ad campaigns. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Uh, look, whatever my dear mother would like to eat or drink, you put on my tap. Mm -hmm. Brave man. This is my son just the greatest. I was about to clock you for kissing the pretty lady at the bar when Lulu tells me that's your mother. Oh, it is, indeed. Olivia Falconer. You, you working here? Yeah. Oh. Lucky talked her in his day. It's just because it's safer. That's all it is. So you already got a job. That's not much of a grace period. Well, a girl needs to pay her old way in this world if she wants any freedom. Thank you. So uh, it's great that you got a job so fast, especially in this economy. Well, Coleman liked the fact that he greeted tables all over the world. Then once I convinced him of how much extra money I could bring. Yeah, <laughs> he's probably right along with me. <laughs> As he was. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to. I need to talk to you. Oh, I just started this job. I can't be talking to people unless they order something. It's okay. My organization has an arrangement with Coleman. So he pays you for protection. You must be very proud of yourself. Taking money from a working okay, man. Come on, I need to go over what happened when you are being held by the Balkans man. I already told you. Yeah, well, tell me again. Now that you had a little time to think about it. Why would I want to think about being kidnapped and smacked around? I haven't told you what I know. Leave it at that. You, know, you got closer to the Balkan than any of us. And what you remember can save a life. Maybe Lucky's. no idea that I understand a fair amount of Croatian. They're pretty careless with the phone calls. What'd you hear? Not much that you don't already know. The Balkan wanted Brenda alive. He wanted to ask her something. Well, do you have any idea what that was? None at all. I don't think the thugs did either. But they did get one call that was different. They're speaking in English, or at least trying to. It's pretty cryptic. Could you tell what they were talking about? I mean, do you remember any names? No, I did. Now that I think about it, whatever they were talking about it had something to do with a man named Jack. 